Well, this is an intriguing little uh, electromagnet motor. Now, this was listed on eBay by the seller. Lovely little nice switch there for the power. As a torch um, demonstration motor. Now, ages and ages and ages ago, I did a, a video which was very popular, had loads of views on a, on a torch a, a demonstration motor. And I'll bring that one in so you can see and compare it to this one. So there's the lovely little torch engine. And I'll put them next to each other. There we go. Now, I think you can see quite clearly that they're, they're, they're very, very different. Uh, the torch engine is a solenoid en engine, um, whereas this is uh, some sort of an electro magnet engine. And they're very, very different construction. This is more industrial. This is like steel plate, uh, very uh, robust construction. Or this is quite flimsy, uh, pressed, folded, tin plate, very thin uh, material. So I don't think, as soon as I saw it, I didn't think that it was an, a torch engine, but I thought, no, it's very interesting. I haven't got anything like this in my, my collection. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a go and I bid on it and won it. So it turned up today. So what is it? Well, this design is based on an electric motor design by a Frenchman called Gustave Fromont. He designed electric motors uh, in the mid 1800s. Which shows you how old the design is. But I mean, obviously this is not that old. Um, I, I, I'm not really sure exactly how old this, this is, but it certainly isn't that old. But a nagging feeling in the back of my mind that I'd seen one of these running. So I did a bit of research and sure enough, on one of the YouTube channels I subscribe to, which is Crazy Dugs, and he's got an absolutely amazing collection of hit and miss engines, steam engines, electromagnet engines, solenoid engines. I put a link in the description because this collection is amazing, particularly if you're interested in unusual and rare engines. Anyway, sure enough, he had one of these and he had it running on his, on his, on his uh, channel. And he described it <coughs> as a toy solenoid engine that was made in Anfo in Germany in the 1920s. So I Googled that and then a whole load of these various different types, but very similar came, came up. So it's obviously, that's what it is. It's a, 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 an engine that was made in Anfo in Germany in the 1920s, but it's not technically a solenoid engine because this is not a solenoid, this is an electromagnet. And as I said, it's based on a design by uh, Gustav Fromont and it's a very, very, very basic uh, setup. Power goes in here, obviously, this on off switch is, uh, this nice switch is the on off switch. And basically power goes to one side of the coil and then the other side of the power goes to well, it's basically, I don't know whether you can see it. It's, it's a bit difficult to see. Let's zoom in. In here, let me see, let's see if we can put a bit more light on the situation. In there, there is a contactor. And it goes up and it touches these tiny little metal flanges that are on the on the flywheel here. And basically they make contact with the flywheel when one of these parts is in line with the electromagnet. As soon as they do and, the, and, and this moves, they break contact until the next one lines up. And so basically what happens is you get rotational mo motion due to the contactor breaking and breaking and making on these little tabs, which are on the flywheel. So the big question is, does it work? <laughs> well, let me go and get some method of powering it and we'll give it a go. Right, well, I've got it connected up to a little um, 4.5 volt battery pack there. So we'll close the knife switch and see what happens. Oh, that sounded good. 
And there you go, it's actually running. Amazing. Not bad for an old electric motor, which is probably about 100 years old. So, uh, yeah. I think I need to mount it on a nice little wooden base, and which is big enough to hold the battery pack. But uh, yeah, runs a treat. So there you go. Very unusual, little electromagnet engine. Made in Anfo in Germany in the 1920s, based on a Gustav Fromont design. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.